Okay, my presentation is on vertebrates and invertebrates and what their differences and characteristics are. Okay. On what? Sorry. Vertebrates, V E R T E B R A T E S. You guys want to write down? Okay. Um, guys, and in order to see what differences and characteristics are, we need to place animals um, in groups and break down those um, groups into even smaller groups. Um, okay, in biology, biology, there's 34. Phylas or groups. Phyla is the plural of phylum or group. Um, and then there's 36. There's 34 different groups, and it it has plants like fungus and trees and stuff. Um, and there's also um, Animals, which is the kingdom, um, which is in the kingdom of animalia. Okay. Um, so we break the 34 phylum. We're gonna just put it into one um, household group. Okay. And it is going. It is called the the phylum chordata. That's that's the and that. And that consists of five different groups, which are birds, okay, birds, fish, amphibians, reptiles, and animals. Okay. And then we break that down into a subfile. And a subphylum is you know, different types of birds, like, or, or different types of birds. <coughs> like, a dolphin is different from a kangaroo, okay? Because kangaroos live on land and dolphins live in the water, okay? So we have cordata and something else, okay? Um, okay, to know anything about an animal, we need to first learn if it's an invertebrate, which um, has no backbone, or a vertebrate, which does have a backbone. Okay, we're going to talk about vertebrates, okay? It has, um, animal, there are animals that has an in internal skeleton, meaning they have a, they have skin over their skeleton. Um, they have a brain, which is divided into three parts. The forebrain, um, Midbrain and hindbrain. Um, like I said, vertebrates include fish, amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals. Um, they are five different subclasses of the subphyla. Um, these are just a few. These are just two animals in the in the vertebrate world. But their size and mobility helps them dominate over their the environment. Okay. Mammals includes includes tigers, bears, lions, giraffes, moose, deer, zebras, cows, horses, even humans, um, and many, many more. What's unique about them is that most mammals have hair, like we do, I have hair, um, or fur covering their body. They can regulate their body temperature, and their metabolism helps them control heat production. They have, um, some have sweat glands that help them to cool off. This helps the mammal to stay a certain body temperature, temperature, no matter what the environmental temperature is. Another unique thing about them is mammals give birth to fully live babies, not a cobra though. Um, um, and, the, and most mammals walk on four legs, but humans only walk on two. Um, aquatic. Animals have flippers and fins, um, then legs to help them swim. Um, also, vertebrates, most vertebrates are really fast. Um, 
while the invertebrates are extremely slow because they lack the, um, the spine that helps hold all of the body parts together. Um, and they don't have the muscle power that they need. Um, um, but there are a few invertebrates, like the squid. Um, it, can, it, it does have um, a lot of muscle, and it can grow to 20 feet meters in size. 20 meters in size. Um, vertebrates have a versatile support system, okay, which help them grow faster and stronger bodies, okay, because I could twist my arm around. Um, reptiles are another vertebrate. They have been around since the dinosaur age, and most common are al al alligators, oh, crocodiles, <laughs> lizards, snakes, tortoises, and turtles. Reptiles breathe air, but some also live in water, like, say, uh, there's ocean snake or something. Um, here, can you move your hand? The most, notice, the most noticeable thing on a reptile are the scales, because they're covered in them. Um, most reptiles also lay eggs um, to give birth to the next generation. Um, Although reptiles breathe with lungs, some can also absorb oxygen in water through, through membranes in the mouth. Some reptiles are, refer, are referred to as cold-blooded because they can't regulate their own body heat like mammals do. They depend on external temperature, the, water, the weather outside. Um, if they get too cold, they will lay in the sun, but if they get too warm, they have to go either hide under a rock or in a stream or something. Um, lizards and snakes are the largest um, of the reptiles. Lizards are four-legged with a long tail. Some will shed their tail to get away from predators, but it, it will grow back. Some can blend into its surroundings to escape from predators. One moment. This, in the box, is a bearded dragon. He is from Australia. Okay. Yeah, I brought him. He doesn't bite, and he, he is very gentle. He is an omnivore, meaning that he eats bugs, and he'll eat lettuce and grass and stuff. Um, what else? He sleeps 20 hours in the day. He's only awake four hours. So, and, um, is that typical of... Of most, uh, of, yeah, lizards. of most of the lizards. They, they'll sleep 20, 20 hours. Yeah. What does he eat? He eats crickets Humans. and grasshoppers <laughs> and <fingers>. other things. <laughs> no, he doesn't eat fingers. What's he called again? He is called, the. Um, he's a bearded dragon. Um, they call him that because he has, if you can see, a frill right here. And if he gets scared or if he feels like he's threatened, which he doesn't right now, he will blow up the, the frill and it'll stick out. He's not getting a good look at Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> Joseph already has a frill. Joseph has a frill. Joseph has a footprint. Yes. <laughs> he is from um, Australia. Australia, right? Yep. Um, and are both his ears, those holes? Yeah, the right? little holes on the side of his ear. I, mean, I don't know if you can see it, but they, they're they his ears. How and old is Spike? He is about six years almost. They oh. can live up to ten, so he's only going to you know, be around for a few more years. Um, what else? Um, when they meet another lizard, they're really territorial, meaning that they... they have to defend their tor to territory from other lizards. I'm having a trouble speaking. Um, it's when well, they you fight. You don't have any other lizards living at your house. Right? No, we don't. It'd be sweet. But, <laughs> well, um, when other lizards fight for territory, um, they will like make themselves really buff. Um, <laughs> like his side, he'll try to make himself look pig and stuff. He'll expand his stomach, and when lizards fight, they do these weird like arm movements, and they'll, they'll bob their head. They'll and it's really, no, they'll bob.